Hi, Travis with Splunk here. So getting ready to upgrade my Splunk indexer in my home lab. And I thought, why don't I record the steps I take to upgrade this Splunk indexer? And as you can see on the screen here, I'm at version 9.0.2 of this recording. And I plan to upgrade to 9.0.3. So how do you find more information about upgrading a Splunk indexer? And, you know, I'll tell you to go out to your favorite search engine and just Google search, whatever, you know, Splunk upgrade. And even though I didn't spell upgrade, right, it still got me the information I need, which is our documentation on how to upgrade Splunk. You can click on that link, which I will open up a tab for that. Uh, important things like read this first about upgrading and then we have a site called lantern and if you haven't seen lantern i'm going to click into that one this is a site that i'm going to go back to the home page here for lantern this is a site that splunk has built to give its customers you know insights on how they can do things inside of splunk you know different use cases and and whatnot so take a, you know, go out here and check out all the different articles that they have. And the one article that did come up was, you know, upgrading Splunk Enterprise gives you some good information about considerations for upgrading. It does pull information from our documentation and has links to our documentation, like about upgrading, read this first, which is important because if you are going from different, you know, major versions like seven to eight to eight to nine, you know, you can't do a, a direct upgrade from 7 to 9. And I believe our documentation does spell that out here. So this is the read this first, which will link over to, you know, how to upgrade Splunk, which was the first link in my search. So here you can see that, you know, upgrade path to version 9. You know, if you are on version seven, you have to go to eight first and then a nine. So make sure to go over all of this before you begin an upgrade. You know, other things to consider is back up your, your Etsy folder, ETC folder, you know, because that's where all your configurations live. And if there is some kind of major problem that happens, and especially on a single instance, you know, you can always restore and get your configurations that you have uh, made your custom configurations. And then it'll give you links to, you know, if, the, if you're on a Linux, Unix box or Windows server, you know, how to upgrade. I am on a Ubuntu box, so Nix is the route I will go here. And once again, back up your files and how the upgrading works. You know, we can tar and just overwrite, but I'm using Ubuntu, so I'll be using a Debian package. And in here, you know, it doesn't really, you know, it just says, hey, you know, upgrade using your package package manager, which RPM is the example. You know, I could go back to um, my search. So this time I'll bring up Google and then Splunk Unix install. You know, and go into the install on Linux. And you can see, you know, Red Hat, there's how I installed if I was going to use Red Hat, but I'm using the Debian installation. And if you um, look at like the man page for Ubuntu and Debian, the dash I is what I need to use for installation and upgrades. So that's all I have to do is follow the command here with the DPKG dash I and then the Splunk package. So let's flip over to my terminal and the first thing I'm going to do is actually Splunk bin Splunk stop and I'm going to stop the indexer so there's no data collection going on while I am doing this upgrade actually if you just run the I believe the installation through the package, it will attempt to stop it anyway, but I always like to do it first because after I stop it, then I can copy that, you know, op splunk Etsy folder, ETC folder to another location. So I'm going to pause for now so you don't have to watch it 
and wait for it to stop and be back when it's done. All right, so my indexer has been stopped. So let's move forward, getting this upgraded. Now what we can do, let me go back to my uh, web browser here. Um, here is the insulation procedure. Like I said, with uh, Ubuntu, I can use the dash I. I know with RPM packages, you wanna use dash U for upgrade. So follow whatever flavor of Linux you're, you're using and use our documentation to help you out. But where am I gonna get the file? Uh, make Go back to splunk.com, make sure you're logged in. And then from there, go to products, free trials and downloads. If you haven't done this before and don't know where the installation files are located, uh, here is for Splunk Enterprise. We also have the universal forwarder. So I'm gonna click on free trial here. This will take me to a page. Let me refresh that. There we go. So I'm going to click on Linux and then uh, I'm going to grab the .deb package here. I'm going to click download now. Now you can, um, there we go. Uh, if you want to, you know, copy the file over, burn it to a CD, you know, go ahead and download the file, upload it into your environment. You know, I am in my home lab, so I can use the wget command and just pull the file directly on my indexer. And I've already done that. So let me go back over to my scene here and do an LS and show you that I do have, you know, Splunk 903 downloaded. And all I did was copy that uh, wget command. And I ran that before uh, before I rest you know, restarted recording here. So now I'm going to do a dpkg i and then splunk there we go hit enter it's going to look and it says this looks like an upgrade of an ex existing splunk server and it is going to attempt to stop if you did not stop it but you know i always stop it so that i can copy those you know configuration files my custom configuration so i don't lose that um, i didn't show that but you know i'll have a copy of it just just in case especially if i do a major version change on my indexer from like you know, i went from eight to nine you know a small change like this usually nothing happens but you know you never know maybe something happens that's not splunk's fault during the insulation process so i'm going to let it finish unpacking here and then once it's done I will come back and finish up uh, doing this installation. All right, there we go. The installation and setting up is done. So let's go to our opt Splunk bin folder. Now I'm going to do a Splunk start and I'm going to put in accept dash license and start my uh, indexer. There is a command to, to accept this automatically, but uh, I don't have I don't have a problem just you know saying why, and then coming back to this. So once this is all finished, I will come back and really finish you know doing the install. Okay, we're back, and the indexer has come back up without any problems. Um, I didn't want to make you wait while it was starting that sometimes it can take a, a few minutes, but let's go in and flip back to our web browser and show you that it is back up and running. Log in here. There we go. As long as I didn't type my password wrong. <laughs> yeah. IO forwarder indigest because I had it stopped and they're all catching back up now. There we go. About and there, there we are. Nine oh three. And yes, this is a a test environment, so I'm used to getting little errors because I'm always playing. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you. Um, doing a simple upgrade is easy, and I've got a meeting to attend. So hope you all have a good day and happy splunking.